Happy New Year everyone. Today I'm going to tell you my first five of the year. My version of Flash Tailed Whistler. This one's got no weight but I'll show you how to put dumbbells on. I personally prefer them without weight so I can fish the fly line. The density of right fly line for the depth of water I'm in. So what I'm going to do today is the hook I'm using is a partridge CS45 their uh, barbels hook size 4 -o. nice a nice size a nice uh, it's got a general purpose size for me these are strong and the hook sears as well the mono I'm using it's clear mono so a bit of varnish in the hook and start your thread on Bring it down to just before it starts curving round the bend. With your waist. So, start off with, I'm going to go for white bucktail. Just a little bit in. A little bit from the tip of the tail. Don't want to hit the flare. Just wanting it. Just catch it in, wind them forward. And then trim all the tags off. Okay, now, I'm going to be putting some of this in, for a tail, this is Gloss and Glint, my Deer Creek, synthetic, a nice fine flash through it, just give myself a bit of bulk, so you don't need a lot, and that's how much I'm using, and all you do is you just taper the ends of it, just, it's easy to taper the the ends in your hands is on the fly. So, nice taper either end. I'm going to tie it in one third sticking out the back, two thirds sticking out the front. Roughly. Wind them back the way. Okay? So that's you in there. As for your flash and the tail, I like to blend a couple of flashes together. One of them is this flash of and I'm going to take about, so there's 25, 30 strands there. And I'll lay them on the table. The next one, this is Magnum Flash Boot. But I'm going to cut this in half. So pick as many as you want. I'm going to go for the same amount. I want the same amount of bulk, so because it's long, we're going to double it, I'm going to half it. So we'll go for like 10, 15 strands. And with this one, fold it over. Cut it in half. And lay it directly on top of the other pile on your table. And then pick them all up in a winner. And we're just going to blend them together. Just roll it between your fingers. Well combing. And it'll blend them. Just to get a nice, nice even. Right. What we're going to do with this now is, we're going to taper these in our fingers. Just taper everyone out. And we're going to tie these in. One third out the back, two thirds out the front. So when you catch this in, just wind forward again. And then we're going to take the flash and the gussing glint, fold it all back. And wind over the top of it. Catch it all down, nice and strong, nice and tight. Okay, now back to your bucktail. I'm going to go for a generous helping this time. And we're going to roll this round, we're going to roll this round the, the hook. 
to act as a, a cage or a guard to stop, stop all this stuff wrapping around the hook when you're casting. So, take your buck tail, 45 degrees to the hook. And if you can keep your flash out your way, just roll it around. Just like spinning the head in a, a bucktail and a salmon tube fly. And catch it all down. Right, just make sure you're around it. Make sure you're around. Right around. There. Trim your trim off your tags. I like to take, cut mine quite quite uneven. So when I tie it down, it doesn't leave a sharp bump, or not as sharp. Just got it all tied down nicely. Bit of varnish, it's for almost 60 seconds. This just helps, it just soaks in, helps everything, protects everything. Right, now. Where our thread stands here, we're going to put in our bit of bucktail in. But we want to come forward a wee bit. And we're going to reverse tie this in. So, change my bucktail, get rid of all the fluff and under fur. See, you're happy with your length, I'm going to be a bit shorter. Just so, when I tie it in, I want it, don't want it the same length as them, I want it to come back a bit so it tapers the fly as it goes. Turn the bucktail around your hands, stick it on top of the hook, make sure it's all the way around. A couple of wraps, pull tight, make sure you're happy, and then trim your, your waist ends even with the bump you've already created and tie them all down just tie them as you go so we'll go some more varnish on this just helps everything soak in now you can use a plastic tube just 12 mil plastic and it just helps push everything back. When you do this, bring your thread straight on the hook shank and then round. Saves catching any bucktail in. And now we're going to make a little dam of thread up against the bucktail. Like a wedge. So it pushes the bucktail to what angle you want it, rather than tying over it. That, this little wedge keeps your bulk. And you just keep on tying back until you're happy with the angle. I like remember about 45 degrees. So, I'm happy with that. So I'm gonna whip, just do, throw in a lot of whip finishes now, to make sure nothing's gonna come free. Okay, now a little bit of varnish again, soaks in again, now thread back on from the front of the hook. Where it stands to snow, I'm now going to stick my eyes on, just so I've got um, my portions, I'm going to fit stuff in the head. The eyes I'm using are just 4mm dumbbells. These are a bulk bag. Nothing fancy about them. I'm just going to catch them on where I want them. Just wrap both ways, just making sure they're straight and square. Just 
just take your time, make sure you're happy with them. And then what I do is just come round between the dung bells and the hook and that just tightens them all up. Solid. Solid's a rock. So now what I want to put in here, I'm gonna go for some more gloss and glint. Same amount as before. And just taper it in the hands. Just taper it so it's nice either way. And we're wanting this one maybe three quarters the length of the tail. That tied in. Just spread it around the hook jack. And this one, the front half, you've got to split it and pull it down the sides. Tie over it. Just catch it in. Does it come out? Now, I'm going to put some grizzle down the sides. Get rid of this. Just a, just a quite a webby grizzle haggle. One down the other side. These are, I've turned them uh, with the outside of the hackle facing. Oh, nope, not happy with that. Outside of the hackle facing the hook. So it curves out the way. Just get them in right on the side. Just fold your tag back and tie over and that's them locked in. This side. Do the same again. Tie over. Tidy up your your tags. I'm gonna go for a bit of varnish. Just continue with varnish as you go. So just want one more bit of flash to take one of these magnum zongers, eh, magnum flash boots. Fold it. Fold it again. And all I'm going to do is just stick this on top. Kind of like three quarters out the back, quarter out the front. And just fold your, your ends back. Just tie over them. Give us a wee bit extra. So now, that's you, you've got your bulk in. It's... Uh, it's quite lightweight because it's just all bucktail, it doesn't really hold much. The glass and glint doesn't hold any any water. Now the last part is I'm going to put a marabou feather on. This is like an orangey red one. It's actually Castle Feathers Marabou. It's absolutely fantastic stuff. It's the best marabou I've used. So just take the tip of it. Just the tip of the marabout, tie in, sure it's got it's in tight, fold it back, lock it in, and then cut off your little tag, and bring your thread up against your eye, your eyes. Now, this is just like hackling, just every time you fold it back, so make sure you don't catch anything in. Work your way forward. Just keeping everyone's throat back until you get up to your eyes. Now, 
and to attach this off what I do is I break the feather stock with my finger and then try and strip these feathers off these fibres off now I come over the top catch it in right make sure you're happy with it a couple of times cut your tag off and now because I've caught it in and I've folded it back a couple of times it is now sawed it now can't come out so just make sure you're happy with the way it's sitting the way it's sitting it's quite nice so what I'm wanting I don't even know if I've got some with me I've always done this for them I don't know why is if I can find it this is a bit of straggle for us just 25 mil straggle silver now why I've done this I just something I do and I quite like it just catch this in and just a couple of turns Just finishes it off a wee bit. Just catch it in, fold it all back, tie it all down. Bring your thread to the front of your eyes. So that is your flash tailed whistler. Well, my flash tailed whistler. Let's go about finish. Make sure you're happy with the way it's sitting. Put it some of these. And then I make sure I put a lot of varnish on. I like it to soak in. Just make sure it soaks right through everything. That'll soak in, that'll do its thing. So there you go, there you have it. This is my flash tailed whistler. It catches a lot of fish every year, for a lot of people. Looks awesome in the water, so much movement, so much flash. Thanks for watching.